this is the most Mexican of the Mexican cities. Guadalajara is called the Silicon Valley of the South, and I think that name is, is well deserved. I think Guadalajara is one of the best cities uh, uh, to live in, in Mexico and personally for me in the world also. There is already a huge community of uh, engineers and software companies. I find the people to be like wonderful and warm and inviting. The weather is perfect. The woman is very nice. And tequila and mariachi and all the time. So you have all the things. This is like a Disneyland, but for real. Intel acquired us in uh, October 2000, and we became a Guadalajara Design Center uh, at that time. So we moved to this campus uh, last year. We are uh, developing that computing platform for the future. We have uh, around uh, 13,000 uh, uh, engineers. Uh, 40 percent, around 40 percent of them with a master or PhD uh, uh, degree. Out of these uh, 1,300 uh, employees, around half are, are from this region, uh, from this city, Guadalajara, and this state, and the other half is from the rest of Mexico. We do several things, packaging, signal integrity, software like BIOS. We have this uh, small museum to attract kids to science and, and technology. In 10 years, I see that this, this facility uh, will be a, a leading campus for Intel. And we are in MINE. Mine is a building, Mexico Innovation and Design. We had uh, around 100 design and innovation companies here in the building. We produce films and video games for console, video games for mobile. We have already produced one film, animation film. We are more close to Hollywood than Hollywood from New York. The 50% of the hardware we receive support from the government. So we have a program to stimulate innovation that uh, give substantial amount of money for companies that are, have, have innovative projects. Promote in, the, in the other countries, participate in the Cannes Festival and IFM in Los Angeles. So we have a lot of support for the government. The creation of the Ministry of Innovation, Science and Technology is, is also encouraging uh, not only the growth of the large companies, but also fostering entrepreneurship. So we give uh, online loans, express, short term. People does not have uh, access to formal financial services, uh, like 85% of the population. So we have to build a solution for them. The client drives to our website and uh, 15 minutes later, the client has the money in his bank account. In the last year, for example, it has grown 10 times. And also, we expect to have the same growth uh, this year. The best and most intelligent people in the country are not leaving the place to go and work to an international firm in another place, to another country. They are staying here and working for their people. Right now, we are building an ecosystem. In 10 years, there will be an ecosystem of engineers, investors, startups, corporations, universities, everything. I have a small venture fund, it's called Agave Lab Ventures. Voxfeed came to me and said, uh, we have this fantastic idea, and I thought, well, let's, let's give it a try. Voxfeed is, is, is an app that lets brands communicate with, with their audience through the help of influencers. So influencers recommend the product or the service of the brand, and every time the influencer recommends the, that certain product to, through the app, he earns some, some money. And they've just been able to, to, to knock the cover off the ball. I mean, they did a, a million bucks uh, in sales in their first uh, 14 months, 250 of that is profit. Got 60, 70 big you know, brands behind them. 7,000 users growing at 24% a month, which is pretty alarming, uh, the growth pattern. And I think it's just because it's greenfield. I feel lucky to be in the time and the place uh, correct to, to be part of this ecosystem. In, in the United States, we had to invent a lot of these things, and that takes time. You're, you're gated by the speed of innovation where Mexico is only gated by the speed of adoption, and it's a much quicker curve. Often I get asked, like, what's, what's it like to, lit, to work in Mexico? How is it different? And I, I can only say that it has been immeasurably better. Um, my only regret is I didn't do it sooner. Now we are based on Centro de Software, which is the first uh, tech park for IT companies within Mexico. It started like 10 years ago. 
we have over 40 companies with a little, uh, very close to a thousand people all over this facility. This company is one of the largest IT companies in Mexico, HIT, with a big client. This is a, a company that specializes in mobile app. This is an investment, a Mexico, American, India investment. And we are certain that IT is one of the key components that this state needs in order to change many of the, of the bad things that are happening in Mexico. The, this is the Plaza Tapatia. This is the heart of the city. This is a very old city. This is a 470 year old city. Founded right here, someplace here. And what we have around here is your typical configuration of a Spanish colonial city. I lived all over the world. I lived in Europe, I lived in India, lived in the Philippines, and then I came back to my city and I love it. Probably you have heard this noisy music that we Mexicans love. It's sometimes about love, love lost, fights. We love mariachis, we invented mariachis here. We are now in Tlaquepaque, which for us is the perfect Mexican town with its little church, its little kiosk, and it has one more characteristic. This is a town of artisans, best artisans in Mexico here. They make their wares and they sell them. And we come here for the weekend, we have a nice meal and buy nice things from these artisans. Welcome to Cervecería Minerva. We have 10 years now in the, in the market. We are number one company from craft beer in Mexico. We've been pushing like a lot of changes in the market and getting the people to know about the craft beer and the process. Uh, right now we are brewing a pale ale. It's an English style ale. It's also one of the gold medal winners at the World Beer Cup. These are used tequila barrels and we use it for our uh, Ita, the Imperial Tequila Ale. For example, when I go home for holidays, I always bring some samples for my friends, and they are pretty amazed and very, very surprised that we have a really decent beer here in making. But in 2001, you know, uh, China started to be very popular, very competitive. We lost 50% what we were doing here in Mexico. So we sit down all the electronic sector together with the university and together with the government and we said, you know, what's going on? Uh, so we realized that we both need to coexist. So we started talking about that, saying, hey, uh, somehow we need to coexist with, you know, the Mexican enterprise that is smaller, the multinationals and everybody because we want to create a bigger pie for everybody. And something, I don't know if this happened in any other place in the world, but that, that day was HP and ABM working together, enemies on the front line, trying to uh, find a solution for this situation where, you know, everything was moving into China. And today, 110,000 people work in this ecosystem, that is right. more than 600 companies like yours. No? So, you know, telling this story, I really feel very proud that I was a little part of that story. Mexico tequila, the electronic industry, tech and French tequila. and France. Tequila. Thank you. Salud. Salud. Salud.